you guys remember how a couple of years ago the Summoner's War Street Fighter collab came out and a lot of you made comments like, oh, this would be great with Mortal Kombat. They should do Mortal Kombat next. They should collab with Mortal Kombat next. Well, apparently NetherRealm, the studio that develops the Mortal Kombat games, thought the same thing. And at that time, they said, hey, you know what? Summoner's War Street Fighter, they're collabing. Let's just not collab and do our own game. So they started working on a mobile gotcha RPG game very similar to summoners were also very similar to raid shadow legends as well i do want to mention because i know some of you guys are going to comment on that it looks more like raid shadow legends than summoners were but they are making well they are almost done making a mortal Kombat mobile gotcha game which was the last thing that i expected to see this week i think a lot of you probably haven't even seen anything about this yet i just caught wind of it because they kept it under wraps for quite a while but it is in all intents and purposes, a mobile gotcha monster collector with the Mortal Kombat characters. This actually been getting a lot of uh, a lot of praise. There's been a lot of people saying good things about it, which I was shocked because I was like, I just expected a lot of people to crap on it because it's a mobile gotcha whale fest game. But or that's what it's that's you you can tell that's what it's gonna be. But uh, from what I have seen and from what people have said. The cinematics look good. The voice acting is apparently good. I don't know about the gameplay, though. I think the gameplay is just going to be like any mobile gotcha RPG hero collector. But at least I was surprised that NetherRealm themselves are doing it. Because usually when you see these games that are, like, licensed from a big IP, they, like, when they go to mobile, they're like, eh, we're just going to have some random developer do it. Or, like, someone that's done some really greedy monetization uh, mobile games that's like familiar with it right like some of the marvel games right they have some of those studios that are really really good at uh you know sucking money out of people so i was surprised that netherrealm themselves are actually doing this realistically though i do believe it is going to be a more of a competitor to raid shadow legends than summoners war itself just based on the art style alone uh, Raid and Mortal Kombat are both dark, gritty, more geared towards adults, where Summoner's War is like, there's chibi, it's more cartoony, there's like fun style of things. Uh, until you get into RTA, that's a different story. But I just believe that it's going to be more of a competitor to Raid Shadow Legends. Also, I don't think it's going to be a major detractor from the Summoner's War audience. I think anyone that is going to play, it, from the Summoner's War audience that is going to play Mortal Kombat Onslaught, they're going to like, play it as a game on the side they're not going to completely shelf their summoners war account for like that they've had for years and been grinding every day to play more well i don't know you know some of you might but i just i don't get that feeling but i think that it's going to be more of a competitor for uh for raid shadow legends just based on art style that's what's really selling it, especially things like idol because half of these games just play themselves so if you don't like the art style there's not really much mechanics i'm sorry but that's the mobile games that's there's not much mechanics to fall back on half the time granted things like summoners war things like epic 7 they do actually have gameplay mechanics so even without the art team carrying them they do still have mechanics to fall back on but some of these games man like especially the idol rpgs and things like that it's like if you don't like the idol, if you don't like the art style you don't like the game but anyway just wanted to give you guys a heads up that it is coming next year at some point so i'll give you guys some more information when i get it hope you guys enjoy i will see you as always in the next one